Hey everybody, it's National Bagel Day today. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Chef Matty B. Today we're here at TA in Kitchener. We're gonna be taking a look at this Philips 2XL air fryer. This air fryer has all the features that you love, plus a couple of extras. First one being that 2XL basket with a three pound capacity. It can hold a whole chicken or two bags of fries if you got some fry lovers in your family. It also has fat reduction technology to pull more fat out of your food and make your food healthier for you. Today, we're actually gonna be using the air fryer for something a little bit different. I found this really cool recipe online for some air fryer bagels that only uses two ingredients, takes 15 minutes, and you can make them super easy at home. So the two ingredients that you're gonna need is a bag of self-rising flour, if you don't have self-rising flour, you can also make your own at home by mixing the right proportions of all-purpose flour, baking powder, and salt together. And then you also need a Greek yogurt. It needs to be plain and not sweetened. I'm using an 8% milk fat. You can use whatever percent you want. I just find the extra milk fat makes a better bagel. Now, a lot of recipes that you'll find online will have you use a little egg wash. That's to save you from having to boil your bagels. It'll give you a nice crust. I just find it doesn't give you quite the same crust that boiling gives you. So I'm gonna be boiling mine. All right, so to start off, we're just gonna grab one cup of our self-rising flour here. Throw that into your mixing bowl. And then I find the right ratio is one cup self-rising flour to three quarters of a cup of Greek yogurt. So we'll get that into the bowl. So you can get it started with a fork or a spatula, but in the end, you're gonna be kneading it with your hands. So I just start straight up with my hands. You wanna just cut that yogurt into the flour, just like if you were making biscuits at home with your butter, kind of crumbling it in, getting it to come together. And then once it starts coming together, you can start kneading it just like you would a bread dough. Try and pick up any of that still dry flour and get it incorporated into. So once your dough has mostly come together in the bowl, you can take it, you can knock it out. If your dough's a little stickier, you can put a little flour down on your countertop first. This dough's looking pretty nice, so I'm not gonna worry about flouring the countertop. And you're just gonna continue kneading it for about three to four minutes. So as you can see, now that we've kneaded it, it's a lot smoother, it's not as clumpy. This is why I like using the higher milk fat, because the fat's gonna help shorten your gluten strands, and it's not gonna become like really tough and dense. So depending on the size of bagel you're going for, you can split this in half or in fours, I like my bagels a little smaller, so I'm gonna split it into four. It's also gonna utilize the space of the frying basket a little more, having it be the four spread out. And then to make your bagel shape, just take it, roll it into a stick, twist it in on itself. Just make sure to crimp where it connects so you have a nice solid bagel. So just like a regular oven, you do wanna preheat your air fryer when you're baking stuff like this. So we're gonna turn it on you can see it has a number of different presets. For this one, we're gonna go over to manual and set our temperature. We want 350 degrees and then just click the button in and it will start warming up for you. So one of the great things that Philips did to make this super convenient for you, you can just press the button at any time during the cooking process and it will pause the oven so you can pull out the basket, check on your food, or in our case, load up our bagels. So I like having the basket nice and close just so that I'm not dripping water all over the place. I'm gonna go straight from the boiling water into the basket too, so you don't have to worry about the bagel sticking. So just take your bagel, throw it in the water, let it boil for about 45 seconds, give it a flip, cause it will float to the top, and then you can pop it into the basket. So now back into our air fryer, that's at 350 degrees. We're gonna set a timer for 15 minutes. I'll probably check on them after about 12, but they generally take about 15 minutes. And that's it, how easy was that? So we still got a couple minutes left on the timer, but we're gonna take a peek on the bagels, see if they need it. Like I said, it can take anywhere from 12 to 15 minutes. Oh, look at those. Those look beautiful. I think I'm actually just gonna stop them right there. So we'll pop those guys out. The rest of the tray stays on its easy glide system. So it can just slide back in and it's out of your way. You don't have to worry about it. So like any other breads, you want to take them out and you want to give them a chance to rest. If I cut into them right now, all that trapped steam is just going to immediately escape. You're going to get a really stale and like soggy bread. It's weird. You don't want it. So just give it a minute to rest on your countertop, maybe like two or three minutes, and then you can cut into them and have some fresh bagels. All right, so now that we've given these bagels a minute to rest, let's cut into them, see how they look on the inside. They look pretty great from the outside, but the outside's only half the battle. Yeah, that looks really incredible. It's not your traditional way of making a bagel, but that definitely does look exactly like a bagel.
Yeah, those are amazing. You definitely have to try these out for National Bagel Day. Toast it up and put some cream cheese on it. Maybe make a bagel sandwich out of it or just eat it as it is. Check out the Philips 2XL air fryer. Perfect for a whole family and enjoy your bagels. Happy National Bagel Day. We'll see you guys next time.